One of the exciting things about the new Anniversary Edition Quirky Rider is its hot swappable switches. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can swap the linear Cherry Speed Silver switches, which come standard on the Anniversary Edition, to the clicky Cherry Blue switches, which are found on all our previous editions of the Quirky Rider for that clickety clackety feel. Now I've got a couple of these small bins here. Uh, this will help to organize your keycaps and switches. Okay, so first we need to remove all the existing keycaps. You can use the uh, provide a keycap puller, which is this side, but you can also just gently pull the keycaps off. The bigger modifier keycaps might require the keycap puller because it's quite snug. Once all the keycaps are removed, now you can remove the switches. The provided keycap puller's other side is the switch remover. Now the trick to removing the switches is to make sure that the pincer here firmly grabs the top and bottom where the plastic hooks are. If you find that the switch doesn't pull easily, that means you're not grabbing the switch properly with the key switch remover. You do not want to yank the switch. If you've grabbed the key switch properly, it will easily come off. I recommend starting in the middle and leaving the top and the bottom rows uh, for last. I'll explain that a little later. Now the top and bottom rows, you have to use some caution. Because the PCB is very close to the top and bottom plates, you want to be extra careful to make sure that the key switch remover grabs onto the key switch snugly. Again, if you find that there's any resistance and you can't easily remove the switch, that means you have not properly grabbed onto it. Also notice how our key switch remover width is very narrow. That's because this prevents the key switch puller from potentially scratching this top plate. There are other key switch pullers out there. Just be sure that the width is narrow so as to not damage the top plate. Okay, now we're ready to put in these new switches. One thing to remember are these two pins. Now some could be slightly bent and there's nothing to worry about. You can simply unbend it, just don't overdo it. The trick is to make sure that these two pins are straight and properly aligned with the board. And you can simply push it in gently and you should hear a very subtle click. So let's try that. Okay, let's do that one more time. Let's do this for the rest. Okay, now let's install the keycaps. Okay, that's it. Now the Anniversary Edition keyboard is equipped with the cherry blue clicky switches. Thank you.